Okay, in this video we're going to be looking at addition and subtraction of complex numbers, okay? So generally, your complex number, so we looked at the last one, it was 3i. Okay, so that's just the complex bit on its own. Uh, generally, they're, they're going to look like this, so they're always called z basically for a reason, a plus bi, where a and b are real numbers. So that's the kind of notation they use, but it basically means that you're going to get something like this, z is equal to 3 plus 2i, where you're going to have a real part and an imaginary part. Okay, so that's just the terminology they use, but that that's how your complex number is going to look. So they always kind of say z is equal to, that's your complex number. Uh, so we're going to be looking at these a lot, but yeah, let's get comfortable with this kind of thing. Um, so let's just look at two examples. I'll go example one, which is going to be addition. Okay, um, we're going to look at two complex numbers. One of them is going to be z1, which is going to be equal to 2 minus 3i. And then we're going to have z2, which is going to be 11 plus 5i. Ooh, should be a plus in there. Plus five i, so don't get con confused by kind of the fact you haven't seen it before. There, it's just kind of a simple sum of adding the two together. So if someone says z one plus z two, this is just going to be so z one is two minus three i plus eleven plus five i. Okay, next line. I'm just going to get rid of these brackets. It's going to be two minus three i plus 11 plus 5i. So this is exactly like adding something with x's and y's. So you add all the x's together and you add all the y's together. So in this case here, I'm going to do it in yellow. Just wait till I get this pen fixed. Here we go. I'm going to go 2 plus 11 on this side. And that's, they're the real parts, the 2 and the 11, because there's no i beside them. Yeah? And I'll go orange plus 5i minus 3i. So I should have picked a different color that wasn't orange because they look the same. But anyway, 2 plus 11, the real parts, and 5i and minus 3i, they're the imaginary parts. We're going to get 13 here plus 2i. And that's all there is to it, basically. You just add the real parts, the real parts, and the imaginary parts, the imaginary parts. So it's no, no more difficult than that. And example 2. Basically the same thing, we're just going to look at two different ones. So we're going to have Z1 in this case is going to be equal to 18 plus 6i, Ooh, plus 16i, my bad. And then Z2 is going to be equal to 14 minus 2i, so 14 minus 2i, here we have here. And there's not much space, so we have to squeeze this in. Um, I'll do it in red. So, Z1, sorry, I don't know if I said adding or minus, but we're going to subtract them this time, we're going to minus them, okay? So that's going to be 18 plus 16i minus 14 minus 2i, and it's so we should be careful of this minus here, so it's going to change this one here. So we're going to change that to 18 plus 16i minus 14 plus 2 I, because there's a minus here on the outside, so you're basically, you basically have to minus this whole thing, so minus and minus is going to change to plus 2i. Okay, I'll go through one more time just in case. Imagine there's a minus 1 there multiplying, because you're minusing from the whole thing. If you just put minus 14 minus 2i, you wouldn't be minusing this entire thing from this, you'd just be minusing the 14. So you have to take the, the negative of all of this, which is going to be minus 14 plus 2i. And hopefully that makes sense. And then I'll do another color just to finish it off. So the real parts with the real parts is going to be 18 minus 14. So you can write them together, but I just don't have enough space here. So I'm just going to go straight to the answer. So we have 18 minus 14 is going to be 4. And then on this side, 16i plus 2i is going to be 18i. There's our answer. Okay, so again, it's the same for adding and subtracting, just as you would with anything else, just the real parts with the real parts and the imaginary parts with the imaginary parts.